Okay, now we're going to go on to the front lines of uh, environmental management with uh, our next speaker, um, Mayor McFarland, Nancy McFarland, the mayor of the city of Raleigh. Thank you all very much for the invitation to be here today. I appreciate it a great deal. To say that there is a competition for capital and local governments is kind of an understatement. I would say that everything is a, is a competition. And you know, one of the things is that we have found is that oftentimes what people think about environmental financing or the cost of that is oftentimes more tied to a political philosophy or ideology than the reality. Because to me, it's also, we have to carefully consider the cost of inaction. Because it's, it's you know, it's now for us, but it's also 30 years from now. And I have to say, I loved your, your comment about the, the past is not, not coming back. My grandmother used to always say, used is gone and dead. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it used to be, used is gone and dead. But, um, you know, the, it is often just the, uh, the usual political back and forth. We do, as everybody has said before, you know, we do see our standards increasing um, federally or by the state, but with a decrease in funding. And, you know, oftentimes for municipalities, when, when we have those, th those certain mandates, um, we're the ones that kind of bear the brunt of it. And also, it's not only the mandates for quality, but it's also some of the different, um, for us at the state level, some of the different um, bills that are being passed. I know that there was a bill, that, potential bill that came out of committee this week that would take away all municipalities' abilities to regulate trees, to have any kind of a tree ordinance. Well, when you think about the amount of damage that stormwater runoff does, that's certainly uh, one of our biggest issues. If we lose that ability to control our landscape, then that's not only, I mean, that's not only going to be bad in many ways, obviously the appearance way, but that's also an increased cost factor that's going to end up coming down to every citizen as we end up with higher and higher stormwater controls. Um, the other things I would say when we talk about tools to jointly fund, you know, environmental issues do not follow municipal boundaries. They don't follow county boundaries. They don't follow state boundaries. And so it's really important to um, have the ability for us to work across those boundaries. You know, we've certainly we've heard about the Falls Lake rules and a lot of things that we've done in tandem. But, uh, you know, it's, it's more than that. And I appreciate all of the partners that we've certainly had in the state and uh, in our area, we've had, we've had great relationships with them, and I think it's going to be even more important going forward. I know that we had a speaker earlier that talked about the public-private partnerships. I think we're going to see uh, more of that certainly in our own world, too. Um, they do, yeah, we do need to be innovative, and we are certainly looking at are there more ways to really engage the citizen in those, um, in their ability to capitalize on resource savings. I mean, I know I, I put a big old 8,000 gallon um, cistern at my office and capture all the water and use all of that for irrigation, but you know, I'm not really feeling the love, Dan. <laughs> That's Dan Howes, our assistant city manager, he is the one that is really in the thick of the weeds and, and really is, is great at some of the new and innovative programs that we have. But we really, um, we do want to look with our utility systems at whether it's water, whether it's power, at, at new ways that we can work and engage citizens so that they can really be a part of that solution going forward and feeling more ownership because it was a great also a comment that you made that we, you know, we don't really pay for things. We just collect, and, and that's, that's very, very true. And I think that when people feel like they are engaged and they can have some ownership, that you certainly get a much better buy-in. So I am going to leave this to the real experts. Thank you. <laughs>